All right, so now that all that setup's taken care of, we can dive into our first example, which is going to be ES6 destructuring. Uh, so I'm going to go here, and I've just got this empty folder with just some notes in it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new file and call it destructuring.js. And before we kind of get too far into what destructuring is, I kind of want to talk about what problem it solves, like how we've been doing things before. So, for example, if we take an array, like something like var foo equals, and then we've just got, you know, um, foo var and baz in here. So just a basic array. And if we want to do something like make, um, actually let me just call that one. If we wanted to do something like make a variable each with the value of this array so we kind of want to pull out each one of these values we would do something like this right like something like var foo equals one dot I guess in this case zero we would do var bar equals one at one and we would do var baz equals one at two and then we could do something like console log foo bar and baz so if we take that and we go ahead and quit and just run node on it, we will see foo, bar, and baz get returned. So that's great. Oops. So to kind of help understand what destructuring is, I like to think of the creation of these things, whether they're arrays or objects, as constructing. So on line one here, we're constructing an array. And then on lines three through five, we're kind of pulling things out. We're making variables out of the inside. Uh, keys and that's kind of what destructuring is so what ES6 gives us is a really nice syntax to take care of this so what we can do now let me just comment these out is we can do something like this um, we can do var and then here's the new syntax here we'll see something like foo bar baz and we'll just set that directly to our array of one um, and so basically what this relies on is that each of the variables you'll create need to be the exact names of the keys in the array or in the object. And I'll show you in a second that this works for objects as well. So we'll go ahead and save out of here. But remember what I said in the last video, which is destructuring is one of the things that doesn't ship in Node by default. So if I go ahead and type Node destructuring, I'm going to get this error. It's a syntax error because you're not allowed to have variables that start with a bracket or a curly brace or anything like that. So again, we can run this node v8 options, grep for harmony. We can find the one that's specific for destructuring. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And then I'll run node with the destructuring flag on destructuring.js. And we'll see just like before we get foo, bar, and baz. So just to dive a little bit deeper here, this exact same concept works for objects. So I'll comment that out for now. Um, we can do something like, you know, var foo, or actually let's just keep it the same and we'll set that to an object and the object will have kind of the same three keys where it'll have uh, foo and that'll set to hello it'll have bar that'll set to goodbye and it'll have baz that'll be set to hello again so similarly if we wanted to do something like this prior to ES6 destructuring we would have to do something like um, var foo equals one dot foo var bar equals one dot bar and var baz equals one dot baz um, so let's go back out here and run it make sure it's still working it is hello goodbye hello again and so basically what you can really see here is that this new syntax for destructuring objects or arrays really helps clean up a lot of repetitive code. We don't need to declare three things like this and we don't need to keep repeating, you know, that we need the one object. So we can go ahead and get rid of all this and just replace it with something that looks like bar uh, foo, foo bar baz and just set it directly to the object one. Go ahead and save out of here, run it with the harmony flag again, and we see hello, goodbye, hello again. I think with the object destructuring as opposed to array destructuring, you can really see the line saved, um, both with getting the values out by the keys um, and also just not having to, you know, keep, keep declaring, like, you know, dot whatever key you want. Uh, so that's pretty handy there.